Teresa, please. Give Gwen and Ethan their baby back. This is my baby. Dr. Russell, I am not giving her up. Oh, Teresa, this is Dr. Carlisle. She's the neonatal specialist that I called in. Nice to meet you, Teresa. Nice to meet you. I've never seen a woman so attentive to another woman's baby. Uh, Dr. Carlisle needs to examine the baby now, Teresa. If she's yours. Mama, I am sure. I feel it right in here. Dr. Russell. Thank you, nurse. Excuse me, Mama. Dr. Russell, what is that? Teresa, you say you're sure that the baby is yours. I'm positive. And what if you're wrong? What if the information in this file proves that Gwen is the baby's mother? Well, Ethan, I'm waiting for an answer. Why does Teresa think she has any rights to this child? Ethan, I heard the baby was born. <sighs> yeah, it was. Where is she? And what happened to Gwen? Gwen had to be sedated because Teresa is with the baby. Teresa? Oh, why isn't Gwen with the baby? I mean, she's the mother. Teresa's just a surrogate. Very good question. That's exactly what I was just asking your son. So, Ethan, why does Teresa think she has any rights to this baby? Oh, I know, Annabelle. I have zits sometimes, too. Luckily, Mark has a great skincare line to take care of any problem. I use the Let's Be Clear cleanser and follow that by the Cleanse It toner pads twice a day, and my skin is so much better. Great. I'll put you down for both and drop them by when they come in. Okay, bye. Sorry, Precious. My products are for humans. Too bad. They have a hair minimizing cream that would do wonders for you. Precious. Don't get too comfy. Just on a break, you know. Oh. Lordy, lordy, that coffee goes right through me. <laughs> what are you doing? Surfing the net to try and hook a man? <laughs> Alistair all but told me that Martin Fitzgerald's mistress, Mrs. Wheeler, is the key to tearing Louise and Sheridan apart. I'm just trying to find a clue. <laughs> Missy, you're as clueless in cyberspace as you are in 3D. <laughs> if Alistair didn't tell you about this Mrs. Wheeler, it's because he's got a good reason. <laughs> <sighs> I know that's what he said, but I don't care. I'm sick of waiting for Louise, so if Alistair won't help me be with Marty's father, I'm just gonna help myself. <gasps> then angels help us all. Evening all. Hello. Precious. Sorry you couldn't join us for Thanksgiving, Edna. <laughs> I wasn't invited. So, Beth, why are you surfing the net for information on Mrs. Wheeler, huh? <sighs> These are for you, from Alistair Crane. He hopes that you will join him tonight for a party at his mansion. You've got to be kidding. Formal attire is requested. Party. What could Alistair be up to? I trust you gave Sheridan, Julian, Luis, Martin, and Catherine their invitations to my fete at the mansion. Yes, Mr. Crane. I have three more to deliver, and I'm not sure that they'll all accept. <laughs> yes, of course they will, my dear. All of my invited guests will be there one way or another. And after I unveiled the truth, the lives of my son and daughter and the entire Lopez Fitzgerald family will be destroyed. My father said he, he had one word that would break up the two of you forever. 
One word? Well, I got one word for him. Listen, Sheridan and I are getting married. I don't care what he says or does. Luis, perhaps... Perhaps you shouldn't count on that. Father always has some fresh hell waiting to be unleashed. Yes, Julian. And tonight's party promises to be one hell of a good time. For me, at least. See that you're all there to hear what I have to say. It's literally a matter of life and death. Why does Teresa think she has any rights to this baby? I'm actually pretty sure that I slept with Teresa. Look, Teresa carried our daughter from conception. She couldn't help but bond with her, all right? Well, that makes sense. It does not! Teresa is a manipulative bitch! I'm still not clear why Teresa's with the baby instead of Gwen. That's right. Didn't Teresa sign over all the rights to the baby in exchange for little Ethan? Yeah, she did. But the, uh, the baby came prematurely. And all the, all the necessary papers that I needed to file regarding custody weren't filed. So I even got a judge on the phone tonight to try to get him to sign off. No luck. You know, what good is it having judges on the take if they aren't there when you need them? At this rate, it's going to be tomorrow before this injustice is rectified and my Gwen is finally declared the legal mother of her own baby. Point is, for right now, Teresa has every legal right to be with that baby and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Even though Gwen's the biological mother? Oh, it's outrageous, isn't it? I mean, my Gwenny is here, knocked out, while Teresa is with her baby. When's the baby's mother? You have proof? Blood test would take. So the, the baby isn't mine. You heard Eve. The baby's Gwen's. So sure she was mine. It is a meetup. That connection that you felt, it was hormonal, biological. That's all it was. And now that you know the truth, you must let Ethan and Gwen have their baby. Get right, Mom. If she's not mine, I can't keep her. I lose her. I lose Ethan. The baby that was taken when I had the procedure that I lost my son. Tell her, Bethy, huh? Tell Tabs why you're so gaga over Mrs. Wheeler. Um, Marty. <laughs> well, since Mrs. Wheeler is involved with his grandfather, Martin, I just wanted to know more about her for Marty's sake. You know. Yes, dear, I know. Come in, Dora. Let me introduce you to El Primo Primate. Precious, excuse us, ladies. Turtles. Mm -hmm. So, Endora. Precious, precious Endora. 
<laughs> so, my dear, what's the Simeon scoop, huh? What's the real reason that Beth wants to know all about Mrs. Wheeler? Huh? <laughs> So Beth hopes to use Mrs. Wheeler to come between Louise and Sheridan, right? <laughs> so what else is new? Oh, so you want to know who Mrs. Wheeler really is, do you? <laughs> That's right. The current Mrs. Wheeler is really the late Catherine Crane. <laughs> And that is the Rock'em Sock'em secret that Alistair is going to reveal at his party tonight, throwing all of Harmony into discord. <laughs> so what are you up to, Crane? Huh? Planning on getting all the people together who hate you and then try and kill them all at once? <laughs> Don't be silly, Luis. All of my enemies couldn't possibly fit into the mansion. So what's this party about then, Father? You'll find out once you're there. I'm warning you, Father. Oh, please, Julian. Your bravado is anemic at best. But next to a red-blooded man like Luis, it's patently absurd. Julian's changed. He's not afraid of you anymore. Neither are we. I'll see you all later tonight. And yeah, what if we don't come? Oh, you'll be there. So does this party have to do with the one word that you were bragging to Julian about? The one word that can tear Sheridan and me apart forever? Just show up, Luis. All will be revealed at the party. I'll see you there, Mike. Don't count on it. Oh, but I am, Luis. If nothing else, you'd be a fool to pass up free food and drink. Especially since neither you nor anyone else in your family has worked in a while. Yeah, thanks to you. No thanks necessary. It was my pleasure. Damn. You may think you know what he's capable of, but as I told you when you asked me to help you have Antonio declared legally dead so you could marry, you have no idea the links will go to stop you. Yeah, but he's already tried bribery, bombs, snakes, brainwashing. What's left? If there's one word for whatever he has planned at this party tonight, it's... It's bound to be horrific for everyone involved. Teresa. Who does Teresa think she is, being around a child that isn't even hers. I swear, the, the girl is like a, like a sleazy bake oven with a broken off button. Oh. My daughter and her husband should be with that newborn baby, not Teresa. I mean, Teresa's ties to that child were cut, along with the umbilical cord. Ethan, given that Teresa is acting as if she were your daughter's mother, perhaps you should file the necessary papers tonight so that Teresa could legally be kept away from the baby that the court says is yours and Gwen's. Look, I, uh, I suppose I could call the courthouse again. Maybe we should call in the SWAT team to take out Teresa. Rebecca, my father, is not going to call a SWAT team, all right? Maybe you can just have him on standby. Ivy? I can dream, can't I? Teresa. I'm so sorry this happened, Gwen. Ethan, you are not to blame for this. Teresa is. Yeah, well, I'm going to call the courthouse again. Maybe I can find a way around these roadblocks so when Gwen awakens, she can be with her baby. What burden are you carrying, Ethan? The test was conclusive. She isn't mine. Actually, Teresa, there is no blood test. What? There is no blood test. I have no idea whether that baby in there is Gwen's or yours. 
You lied to me? No. No, I didn't. I asked you what you would do if I told you the baby was Gwen's. She's right, Mia. I don't have time for these games, Doctor. My baby needs me. Teresa, honey, I'm trying to show you that you are not nearly as sure that that baby is yours as you think you are. It's just as possible that that baby is Gwen's. You tricked me. Teresa, no. No, Mia. You did this. You convinced yourself that that baby is yours because of this insane notion that you have that Ethan is going to leave Gwen for you if the baby is. You are going to drive Gwen to madness if you take that baby away from her. How many times do I have to remind both of you that Gwen and Rebecca stole my child from me? And they didn't care about my pain, did they? They didn't care about how my family suffered because of me. I know. We all know, but Ethan and Gwen have promised to give you little Ethan back in exchange for this baby, and you even signed papers. I don't care, Mama, because I will find some way to undo those papers. Look, there is a 50% chance that that little girl in there is mine, and I'm going to keep her. I finished my examination. And how's the baby? Stable, but critical. The next 48 hours will be crucial. Excuse me. I sense tension. Everything all right? It's just the situation. Yes, the situation. I understand. I'll continue to monitor the baby and page you for condition warrants. Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. Thank you. Dr. Russell, mm -hmm. Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald. Alistair Crane requests the honor of your presence later tonight at a party at the mansion. Formal attire is preferable. I don't believe it. Well, believe it, ma'am. And don't be late. You either, Dr. Russell. Is it just me, or did she just threaten us to come to this party? No, it's not you, Eve. It's Alistair's way. He never takes no for an answer. I wonder who else is invited. Martin, look, they have invitations too. I see Alistair's assistant paid you a visit too. Yes, we've uh, all been invited to Father's Get Together. Any idea what it's about? Well, we're not going to a party with you people. Thanksgiving was more than enough, thank you. I suppose we'll see you there. Now we know that Alistair invited both your children and my son, Louise. But why? Why is he doing this? So seriously, Alistair told you that he could tear Sheridan and me apart with just one word, huh? Yes, that's right. And I doubt it's prenup. is giving this party. He's going to tell everyone who I am, that I'm alive. Oh, Martin, Alistair's right. He can destroy Sheridan and Louise's future with one word. on Mrs. Wheeler. And you won't, unless Alistair wants you to, which he does not. Hey, Marty, can you say loser? Because that's what your fake mommy is. A doozy of a floozy of a loser, uh-huh. Mother, shut up. <laughs> Want a lap full of hot coffee, huh? Uh, what's one more stain? <laughs> hey, 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 look, Beth, Beth, look. It looks like Tabitha and Precious are really talking to each other. Yeah, you need to switch to decaf. Hey, I'm serious. Right, I admit, Tabitha is a bit strange. She did have live turkeys roam around her house at Thanksgiving. <laughs> live turkeys? Yeah. Do you know, I can remember when I was a little girl, and Tabitha looks exactly the same as she did then. I don't believe it. No, really, she hasn't aged one bit. I mean, I don't believe you were ever a little girl, Mother. Uh, no, she, 
She must have had a great plastic surgeon. Boy, maybe I should get nipped and tucked. Then I can start dating again. <laughs> Drawn and quartered. Now be quiet. I gotta think. <laughs> The internet's a dead end as far as Mrs. Wheeler goes. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use her to break up Louise and Sheridan. Told you so. <sighs> Wait a minute. Alistair, you know, I could just kill him for knowing how to keep Louise and Sheridan apart and not doing it. That's it. Uh-oh. I know how to keep Louise and Sheridan apart. I'll kill Alistair. Alistair's assistant gave us these invitations. Yeah, yeah. We got them, too. Uh, and I, I think it's best if, if we all attend voluntarily. Being forced to go could get uncomfortable. Why now? Why tonight? I mean, Teresa just had the baby. Ma, you know, Alistair doesn't give a damn about anyone but himself. How is Gwen's baby doing? Oh, the baby's in critical but stable condition. Hopefully, the next 48 hours, she'll have turned a corner. How's Teresa? Well, she's uh, strong enough to be with the baby. No, why is Teresa with the baby and not Gwen? It's complicated. Really, Eve, how so? Well, until the papers that Teresa signed are filed with the court, giving Ethan and Gwen, their legal custody as the biological parents, Teresa is the mother of record. At least for now, she's legally entitled to be with the baby. Oh, Gwen must be a wreck, not being able to be with her own daughter. She was. So for her own good, I, I had her sedated. Well, I'll go see her when she wakes up, then. You know, I, I think it would be best to wait till tomorrow, maybe till after we've answered your father's summons. I don't know, but I, I don't have a good feeling about this party at all. No, I don't think you should. He's doubtless up to no good. Well, I think Allison would be very hard-pressed to top the fact that he never told us that Chad was our son. Do you know that he actually loaned Chad money to take Whitney out on a date? How sick is that? Don't we all hate Alistair for something, but why? Why invite us to this party? Father wants to split Luis and Sheridan up for good. Oh, God, not again. No, Mom, calm down. Okay, Alistair can't do anything to harm Sheridan and me. Never say never, Luis. Not when it comes to Alistair. He let Rebecca take little Ethan away from Teresa. He took away our home, our jobs. And poor Miguel left town to find work, searching for charity. And his leaving so soon after Antonio's death, it's... Yeah, Alistair killed Antonio, and then he... Tried to kill me and Sheridan and kidnap Paloma. I would kill a man for everything he's done to our family. I could kill him too. We could all kill Alistair. Well, let's not forget that Alistair's tried to crush all of us and hasn't succeeded. Tonight's not gonna be any different. That old man isn't gonna be able to do anything to any of us and Sheridan and I are still gonna have a wonderful wedding. You two are getting married? Mm. Yeah, and uh, Julian's actually gonna help us. He's gonna have Antonio declared legally dead so we don't have to wait seven years. To... And we don't mean Antonio any disrespect. It's just that we love each other so much. Oh, I understand, trust me. <sighs> I waited 20 years and didn't do anything about my marriage. And I've lived to regret it. Thank you, Julian for making it easier for Sheridan and Louise to have happiness. It's my pleasure, Paula. It'll be wonderful to celebrate Louise and Sheridan's love. That's why Alistair is gonna reveal my secret, Mark. To stop Louise and Sheridan from getting married. Because if Louise and Sheridan are husband and wife, Louise will have access to all the Crane's secrets. He could destroy Alistair, take down the Crane Empire, and Alistair is never going to allow that. Never. I mean, the scorn of being revealed as a wife-beater pales in comparison to losing this colossus he's created. Oh, my God, Martin. It's true. Alistair 
can destroy Luis and Sheridan's lives by just one word, my name. Uh, Catherine, you know me so well. Not only will I out you tonight, but the repercussions from my revelation will lay waste to all your pathetic lives. I think Gwen has finally slipped into a deep sleep. Now, if only Teresa would fall into a long, hard dirt nap. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Teresa tries to keep the baby away from Gwen. I'd be surprised if she didn't. I mean, fortunately, she has signed away any rights she has to this child. And even if she hadn't, I mean, what court would deny a woman her own biological child? But if the baby is Teresa's... I'm going to check on Ethan, see if my being police chief can help speed things along at the courthouse. Okay. Whatever's bothering you, Ethan, I hope that I can help. for you both. We all are. So, what do you think Alistair will do at this party to try to break the two of you up? We don't know. Father told Julian that he could do it with one word. Yeah, whatever. We are gonna have a wonderful wedding no matter what, you hear me? Gosh, you know, I feel it. If I hadn't gotten sick, we would have nothing to worry about. You could have exposed Alistair at the Founders Day dance, mijo. Instead, you chose to trade in all that evidence so that he could help me get the experimental drug that saved my life. That's right, and I'd do it all over again if I could. Now listen, one of these days, Alistair is gonna slip. And that day, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, well, I don't think heaven would consider killing that man a sin. The world would be a better place with Alistair dead. Yes. Despite her faults, Mrs. Wheeler did try to kill the old man. Perhaps whoever tries again will succeed. Once Alistair announces I'm alive, everything will unfold as he predicted. If Sheridan knows why I left Harmony and forgives me, Louise will hate her for it. Louise couldn't marry Sheridan. Her mother ran off with his father knowing that his family would be in ruin. And Alistair will have driven a wedge between Louise and Sheridan forever and destroy their chances of happiness. We have to stop him, Martin. Yes, but how, Catherine? I mean, what can we do short of killing Alistair before he has a chance to say anything? What? Sheridan, now that Alistair knows that you are planning to marry Louise, now more than ever, you can't go to this party tonight. You have to leave Harmony now and never come back. So precious, I think you should complain to your union. I mean, you're a highly paid caregiver. And Beth has no right to insist that you wait tables while she's plotting mayhem. Speaking of mayhem, Beth's wild-eyed look tells me that she's come up with yet another plan to snag Luis. <laughs> oh, yes. I know you want Luis, dear, but my advice to you is to just be patient. Anything's possible in this town. <laughs> so if Alistair died, Luis and Sheridan's wedding would be delayed indefinitely because of the funeral and the official mourning period. Oh, I, I doubt it, Missy. Sheridan has seen her father for the monster that he is. I doubt that she'd mourn him much less go to his funeral. Oh, I'm sure Sheridan would want to show up just to make sure Alistair was really dead. Huh. 
Some families are so dysfunctional. Hm. She should know. Hey, Betty, go come to my funeral, won't you? Oh, Mother, of course I will. Oh. <laughs> I cannot wait to dance all over your grave. Oh. <sighs> but first, Alistair Crane has to die. Do you hear that in door? Beth wants your grandfather dead. Please, Sheridan, don't go to Alistair's party. Take Louise and leave town tonight. Well, get now. your hands off of her, all right? Stop telling her what to do. Now, listen to her, son. You and Sheridan have to leave town right now. Look, stop calling me son and don't tell me what to do. I am begging you, Sheridan, don't go to Alistair's party. Please. Shut up. You homewrecking whore. You know, Paloma tells me that you were like a mother to her in my absence. Well, guess what? I've been like a mother to Sheridan since her mother died. So stop telling her what to do. Yeah. But get lost, both of you. If they won't leave town, we'll have to go to the party. Stop Alistair before he can hurt them. Even if we have to kill him. Perhaps Mrs. Wheeler has something worth saying about Father. She clearly hates him as much as we do. Who cares? I wish Mrs. Wheeler were dead along with Papa and Alistair. You're right. If Luis and Sheridan won't leave town before the party, we'll have to be there to protect them. But killing Alistair first may not be an option. I mean, if he doesn't beef up security, he could do his dirty work over the video feed. He doesn't even have to be in the mansion. We need a backup plan. We need to be able to defend you in case Alistair announces that you're Julian and Sheridan's mother. The papers that we have? to prove what Alistair did to me, the documentation of abuse? Right, they're over at the B&B. &B. We'll need to have them ready in case Alistair exposes you tonight. But wait, I mean, proving Alistair abused me may increase the chances of Sheridan forgiving me. Which increases the chance of Louise hating her for it. And the papers could turn a bad situation worse. Unless we get the family to see that we left Harmony because we were protecting them from Alistair. Maybe Louise would, would forgive Sheridan. Well, he and Pilar, you know, they might even forgive me too. Yeah? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go get our things to B&B. &B. You stay here and keep an eye on things. I'll be back as soon as I can. Pilar and Luis are so angry they may not believe the proof of Alistair's abuse, even if they see it. Forgive me, Mark, but I can't wait any longer. I'm going to see Alistair now. I'll stop him from revealing my secret and ruining Sheridan and Luis's lives one way or another. I don't care what Dr. Russell says the odds are. I know you're my daughter. I feel it in my soul. Dr. Carlisle wants you to keep talking to the baby. Studies show it helps preemies to hear their mother's voice. What should I be saying? <gasps> if you're the baby's mother, your heart will tell you what to say. Teresa. Are you my daughter's mother or is it Gwen? I wish I knew. The only thing I know for sure is that I'm the baby's father. Ethan, what did you just say? More coffee, Tabitha? Uh, co oh, coffee, yes, yes, that's it. Oh, my. Hmm. Pretty engrossed in that book. What's it about? Poison. What is it? What's a book like that doing here? <laughs> well, I don't know, dear, but it's very informative. You know, my Fluffy is getting on in years, and she's not the mouse as she was, and so, uh, alas, alack, I have got to poison those pesky rodents. 
Hmm. I know a two-legged rat that should be killed. You do? Well, <laughs> if you have a pest to poison, this book's a must-read. Oh. Thanks. Watch out, Alistair. Mama. Thank you. What about Martin? Mrs. Wheeler went. I don't know. I didn't even see them leave. If they stayed along with all of us, this would be a veritable witness waiting room for people testifying against Father for his crimes. Yes. Alistair has hurt each and every one of us. I don't know what Father did to Mrs. Wheeler, but it was certainly enough for her to try to kill the old man. Pilar and Luis and Sheridan have all suffered at his hands. So have you, my love. Kidnapped our son at birth. On top of that, helped Chad wine and dine Whitney, knowing that their relationship was incestuous. And God knows he forced me to be his accomplice in countless evil schemes. I'm, I'm so haunted by the secrets I keep for Father. So many awful secrets. He's caused so much pain for so many people. If Father were to be murdered, each and every one of us would be a suspect. Yes, everyone we know has a reason to want to kill Alistair. You're both right. Everyone wants to kill Alistair Crane. But who among you has the courage to look me in the eye and kill me? I do. You're going to be late to your own party, Alistair. As in the late Alistair Crane. What? Whitney, you're pregnant by a crane? Damn it. Damn it. All the hell. <laughs> oh, damn. No, I just realized this is your very first murder. <laughs> NBC Tonight starts with a Clay Aiken Christmas with Yolanda Adams and Barry Manilow, all hosted by a true idol. Then, on an all-new West Wing, Alan Alda joins the cast as a new candidate, just as the president's problems have begun. I can't